to my makeup decluttering series. This is the second video in this series and this is part two of my lip products journey. As I mentioned in my first video where I de-stashed and decluttered my regular lipsticks, I have a ton of lip products. So if I put everything in that one video, that video would have been an hour long. So I decided to separate it. Part one was just regular tube lipsticks. This video is all gonna be about liquid lipsticks, which is probably my favorite product ever in the world, next to blushes, especially my favorite lip product. So I'm hoping I'm gonna make um, as much progress as I did in my first video, but I don't really think I will because I love so many of these. So hoping I can get rid of um, I'm gonna say that my goal for this is gonna be 10. <laughs> my goal for my lipsticks was way higher because I had so many and a lot of them were old colors that I really wasn't into. I just recently got into liquid lipsticks like last year so I, a lot of the colors here are still colors that I do wear on a regular basis and I really, really love. So let's say the goal is going to be 10. I don't want to set my goal too high. I don't want to have such high expectations and then be disappointed. So the goal is to de-stash 10 liquid lipsticks today. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with uh, the same way I did the last video. I'm just going to grab things randomly. I'm going to have two different piles, or possibly three different piles. It's going to be the stuff that I decide to keep. It's going to be over here. And then the stuff that I decide to get rid of is over here. And they might be a maybe pile, which is stuff that I really want to see what it looks like on my lips before I make a decision about it. Let me move the camera just a bit. Okay, so this is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Potion. I actually bought this when the line first came out. It wasn't right away. It was definitely a couple of months after. But I actually have not worn this. I tried it on. I tried them all on when I first got them, but I I actually haven't worn this out. Oh, uh, and this is such a pretty fall color. It is a deep, dark, plummy purple. And if you didn't watch the first video, by the way, I swatched every single thing I own because I really just more for me to know exactly what I'm looking at. I can say, oh yeah, I know for sure I want to keep this color, but I really just want to look at it and say, hey, is this a pretty color? Am I going to wear it? Is it wearable? Is it something that just makes me happy and brings me joy? And is it something that I would repurchase if I did not own it or I would purchase if I didn't have it right now? So... I think this definitely falls in that category. So this is something that I'm gonna keep. So I'm gonna put this guy right here. They're falling all over me, oh no. This is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade, oh this is so small, Backstage Bambi. This is definitely a very, very hot pink. I know I have a couple hot pinks. I know right off the bat, I am only gonna keep one like hot, hot pink. Um, there's probably gonna be like one hot pink and one like Barbie pink so it's something that I was trying to explain in my other video my lipstick video with like candy yum yum um, I wanted something that was like that tone and then I wanted something that was a little bit Barbie pink so but I don't need like three different like hot pinks so I'm gonna swatch um, all the ones that I can see that are hot pink right now so I know for sure which one I want to keep like I said this is in backstage Barbie or backstage Bambi that's very pretty I think I've only worn this maybe once if not if ever, honestly. Um, so that's what Backstage Bambi looks like. I'm gonna put this right here for right now and I'm gonna get all of the hot pinks that I can see so I can swatch them back to back. This is the Anastasia uh, Liquid Lipstick in Sweet Talker. So let's get all these together so I know exactly which one I wanna keep. Mm, this is actually more like a corally than it. This is like a coral than anything. Hmm. I don't, uh, I don't see myself wearing this, honestly. Like I was saying in my other video, like I am not like a coral orangey person. Um, I like 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 the, I just like the color orange. I like co I like the color coral itself, but on my lips, uh, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. So, yay, we got it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the nope pile. All right, I'm gonna get all the um. Hot pink. This one has to be hot pink. All right, this is the Anastasia lipstick party P and party pink. Put this here next to backstage Bambi. Let's see. This definitely is looking more of a definitely like a hot hot pink. This one's a little bit lighter, but I'm gonna put these in the maybe. Where's the maybe? Okay. So this is uh, one two. All right, let me get, this is the Lime Crime, and I have explained this in my other video. I know I do not like all the controversy. I think it's, you know, shitty, but I had already bought these, so I'm not gonna throw them away, but I will not be repurchasing these anymore. What did I say what this one is? Pink Velvet. Can you guys see that? This, hmm. It's definitely a different, yeah, this is definitely a much darker 
pink so yeah this is definitely nothing like these two so let's put that these are all right now in the limbo stage and this is another kind of hot pink this is dose of colors i love the packaging seriously it's such a quick it's such a nice like frosty packaging i remember um nicole guerrero and her old setup she used to have these like in a what is it called like she used to have these in like a plastic lipstick holder like on her vanity and she had them all different colors and it's just i was like oh the packaging is so pretty so anyway this is the uh dose of colors lipstick in pinky promise i'm trying to figure out <laughs> which one of these to keep in like a hot pink and like a darker pink uh well, actually this one looks <laughs> almost exactly like the uh Lime Crime Pink Velvet. It's very similar. Uh, Alright, so now these are kind of in a duel. So these are in a duel and these are in a duel. Let me see what other kind of hot pinks I have here while I have them here. Um, well, this is an elf. It's not really, um, it's called First Date. It's a lip stain. Let's see. Let's put it to the test with the other two. Oh, that's definitely way, yeah, way more nude. And it's also very, um, it looks very watery, so this one for sure. Um, where's my get rid of pile right here? <laughs> All right, let me see. Do I have any more like hot pinks? Let's see. I have this one. Oh, this is a Revlon. This is more purpley, I think. Yeah, this is definitely more purple. I'm gonna put this in the purple showdown. Um, I'll go ahead and just do the other Elf lip stain. This is in Fashionista. If it's anything like the other one, probably not gonna keep it. Uh, oh, this is actually. This actually looks really similar to these two. So, yeah, definitely don't need like. Before we get the same color, so let's see. Oh, here's the other <laughs> elf lip stain. Um, this is in birthday suit. This is definitely on the purpley side, but I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it while I have it here. Yeah, that's very sheer. I'm not super into that, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Is that all the pinks I have? Cause let's see, I think that's all the pinks. Well, other than like the like the melted ones, as far as like the actual liquid lipsticks in like the you know liquid lipstick pots. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep one of these and then one of these. Um, that's, what is this, Backstage Bambi? I keep seeing Barbie, I don't know why. Backstage Bambi and that is the Anastasia Party Pink. This one looks like it dries down way matte. Um, I kinda like the um, the Kat Von D one a little better. So I think I'm gonna get rid of the, um, the Anastasia one. I guess I'm just going to hold on to the Dose of Colors one. I don't know. I mean, honestly, they're like the exact same color. But I'm going to go ahead and just keep the Dose of Colors one. Because uh, after this, I only have one. I think one or two other Lime Crime products. So I might as well just stash those while I have the chance. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the uh, Lime Crime one. And I'm keeping the Dose of Colors. And then um, I'm just going to start with some of the purples that I have, I guess. Since I'm just kind of picking at this pile. So this is the Revlon... Ultra HD Lip Lacquer in HD, or is it Garnet? Garnet? I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Uh, it's a nice color, but the formula is very, I can feel like it's very, very sticky. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of this guy. Um, This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in midi, and the ColourPop ones are definitely some of my newer purchases, so I really want to mess around with them some more before I get rid of them for sure. Or do stash them? That's me. It's a very nice nude, so I'm definitely gonna keep this guy. Wasn't I supposed to be doing the purples? I totally like lost track. All right, so let me take a purple. This is the dose of colors, and I feel like no, these are definitely not close. This is the dose of colors in Bury Me. Oh, very pretty, yes. Definitely going to be keeping that guy. It is gorgeous. Okay, and then let's see. This is the Anastasia liquid lipstick in Vintage. Isn't this like one of the ones that were like people like were looking for was selling out or something? I don't know. I feel like it was. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah, it's definitely very different than Bury Me. Bury Me is more like a kind of maroony. And then this is definitely like a straight up true purple. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and just grab one at random. Uh, this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte HD in Clueless. I think this was like the second release of their um, liquid lipsticks. This was the color from the second 
kind of round. Yeah, it's a very, very pretty, like, mid-tone nude. So I'm going to keep that guy. Another color pop. Um, this is Limbo. This was, Yeah, this is definitely um, one of the things that I got recently, like, after my birthday. Like, I haven't been buying hardly anything, but this is, oh, definitely something that I got recently. So I am very much going to hang on to that. And I think the other one that I got recently was, this was LAX, right? Or LAX. I don't know if they're calling it LAX or LAX, but... Yeah, so let's swatch this guy. Duh, that one's pretty freaking gorgeous too. Yeah, so that one I'm going to hang on to also. Uh, this is definitely not going as well as I thought. Actually, no, it is. One, two, three, four. I already got rid of seven, so another color pop Ultra HD. This is in Bumble. Bumble, like Bumblebee. I thought I, said, I feel like I said bubble. All right, this is. Hmm. That's a pretty color. This might be one that I'm going to have to try more on my lips to see exactly if I'm into it. Oh, here's another e.l.f. one. I can probably tell you it's not going <laughs> to not going to work out. This is in Heartbreaker. Why is this like crooked? I don't know. This is in Heartbreaker. I'm going to just put that. Oh, God. That is like a orangey nude. <laughs> that is not pretty at all. I don't know. Probably I got this because I want to, it like, three dollars so yeah um we're not gonna even talk about that this is the next um uh color pop ultra hd this is in beeper a lot of these tend to be a little bit on the similar side so that's why i wanted to swatch i'm just ugh, damn it no this one's very nice if anything i think bumble is one that i probably could part with not gonna lie it looks almost kind of like a little bit on the orangey side this one definitely yeah i'm thinking now that i'm looking at it Bumble's not really that great of a color on me. Like I can I can tell. So I'm actually gonna switch Bumble over to the get rid of category. And this is another ColourPop Ultra HD in Vice. Yeah, the reason why I have a bunch of these is because they're like five dollars each, by the way. So way, way, way eons more affordable than the Anastasia ones. This is a very, very nude nude color. This is definitely something I'm gonna have to try out. So I'm going to put it in the keep pile for now. And here's another color pop. Yep, there's a lot of color pops. Uh, HDs. This is in Trap. Yes, that's definitely very, very up my alley. There it is right there. Yep, this one's definitely staying in my life. Next is, this is uh, the new NYX Liquid Suede. I got two of these when they released because they're pretty, they're pretty affordable. They're about the same, I think they're about like seven dollars or something. This is in Soft Spoken. I actually only had my eye on one of these and then I saw this one too and I was like, well, yeah, definitely very, very up my alley. That's pretty. It's like, it's almost what Bumble should have been if they would have added a little bit more brown and less orange. So that one's staying. And the next, uh, the other liquid lipstick, the suede one from NYX that, uh, this is the one I had my eye on since I first saw that they were going to release them. This is Sandstorm. Gorgeous brown color. Like, insane brown color. Definitely keeping. Um, there's another dose of colors, and I think, let's see, this, oh, this is one of my, um, Recent purchases, I know for sure I'm keeping. This is the Dose of Colors in Truffle. Now that I'm looking at that, son of a bitch, mother, f that looks exactly like Sandstorm. Like, exactly. And I can tell you that this one is what, like $18? And this one was like seven. So, dupe right there. If you are wanting to get Dose of Colors Truffle, or on the flip side, if you're wanting to get Nyx's Sandstorm, they are literally the exact, the exact, they even look like the exact same consistency. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if they're coming out on camera, but like, believe me, in real life, they're the exact same colors. <laughs> because I literally just bought this like very, very recently, and this I bought like very recently before that. I'm going to keep them both just because I want to see how they both wear. And we're, while we're here, I might as well compare them to my favorite lipstick in the history of the world, which is cashmere, which sucks when they don't want to repurchase. <sighs> such a shitty color. I mean, such a, from such a shitty company, but the good thing is I have a ton of dupes for this, so, um, yeah, look out for that. I'm gonna make a video just on dupes of, uh, cashmere, which is my favorite. Yeah, it's definitely more gray than 
the last two. So that is being kept. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I'm not like bending over as much because my back is starting to kill me. This is also something that I got recently. This is um, the Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick in Wolfsbane. It's very similar to like the last couple of ones, but a little bit darker. Like I said, grays and browns and those like dark nudes are very, very much up my alley. So definitely that guy's being kept. Let's see. This is a L'Oreal um, liquid lipstick and this is in tea berry. Tea berry? Yeah. Let's see. That's what it looks like. It's like a doe foot applicator. Eh. The color is pretty, but it's very like shiny metallic-y. And I'm just not feeling that, so I'm going to put this in the get rid of pile. All right, this is from the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, and this is in Coven. This is definitely one of the um, shades that I've heard several people talking about on YouTube. Yeah, oh, it's just like a very, um, it's a nude, but it's like a gray nude. And it's extremely, extremely like, just repulsively gorgeous. And this one, these are the two that I just purchased like very recently, like this month um, or last month, depending on when I'm going to post this in October is when I bought these. So um, these are the new Dose of Color shades in Stone. This is Stone. This one's gorgeous. Literally just got this like a week ago. I have not even worn it yet. So, but I did swatch. <laughs> I'm forgetting where the camera is, but I did swatch it. It's gorgeous. So this one absolutely is being kept. Oh, this Dose of Colors packaging is just gorgeous and this is in sand it's a very very light like concealer nude gorgeous keeping this one for sure um i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one this is the rimmel show off lip velvet in atomic rose that's what it looks like i think it's another doe foot applicator there it is um this one's definitely more like corally too corally for me so that one I'm going to say goodbye to I'm saving kind of all my like lip tars for last and this is another Revlon Ultra HD in Petalite Petalite I can already tell this is gonna be very metallic -y. Ooh, yeah this is almost like a, uh, a lip gloss but yeah yeah that's just very very too metallic -y for me so this one I'm gonna say bye bye to um, let me just grab another lipstick. This is the uh, Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Heathers. Let's see what this looks like. This is another one I think I'm going to need to try more on my lips. I tried it once and it didn't look quite right. It might have almost been too orange. It's very orange undertone. Brown. So I'm going to keep this for now, but I am going to try this. This, is, this looks almost kind of similar to Lax, but... Yeah, it actually does. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks very similar to Lux. I think that, yeah. Hmm. I might actually get rid of that then. Because it looks very similar to, and also, um, the color ones are way more affordable, so. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the Anastasia one. The next one is the Dosa Colors Merlot. Oop. Buddy Pudity. Let's see. I'm losing, I'm running out of room. Oh, that's very, very bright. It's like a vampire red that's very bright but um i didn't i don't have any as you can see there's not a single bright red in here so i'm definitely going to keep this one and another one which it seems that it almost is going to look similar to these two is anastasia's um vamp let's see how similar it looks it's very similar definitely like it better than heather's but it looks very similar oh it looks very similar to these Actually, that one. Hmm. Let's see, which one was that? It wasn't LAX, was it? It was Limbo. I'm gonna swatch Limbo right next to that just to see if it's as similar as I'm seeing. It's a little lighter. Um, yeah, Limbo's a little darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Here's another Rimmel show off um, in Orangeology, which I can tell you already is not going to happen um well, fuck. holy that's literally straight up orange that's like orange like pumpkin why do i have that why do i that's definitely going 
Next one is Anastasia Lipstick in Lovely. Let's see how this guy swatches out. Oh, that's very pretty. I like that. It's very pinky nude. It's definitely very pretty. I don't think I have another shade like this up here. Hmm. Maybe kind of like this one, but is it, I can't decide if that was the dog or if that was Josh screaming. <laughs> and this is one, it's actually one that I got from an Etsy store. It's um, from a store called Give Me Glow. And um, the shade is Deja Vu and it comes in one of the lighted things. As you can, can you see the light? Uh, so that's so cool. And this is supposed to be kind of like a, a cashmere dupe. Sort of. Which I'm probably, I, may, I might include this one in my dupe video. This very, it looks very, uh, I wish I like had like names for all these. This looks very similar to this one, but I'm going to keep that one. There's another L'Oreal um, in Never Ending Nutmeg. Let's see. I'm running out of room. Oh, that's actually pretty, but hmm. It seems like it's very similar to... And what is on this other side, by the way? Is that like one of those ones that you prime your lips from? I think it is. It's pretty. But I feel like I just have so many shades exactly like that one, so... I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. And this one I know for sure I'm keeping. This is Kat Mondi's Lolita. I looked for this for a while. I had to wait like several different rounds of Sephora for it to come back in stock and be able to grab it on time. So, I'm definitely keeping this bad boy. This is another lipstick from Makeup Monsters, which is one of the ones that I showed. Um, yeah, over here, they definitely got way better packaging. As you can see, this was from like several, couple months back, like the beginning of the year, and this is their new packaging. It's like improved like exponentially. So, this is like one of, this is the, I think the first one from Makeup Monsters that I uh, purchased. This is Dusk, and this is straight up 100% legit gray. Uh, yeah, definitely keeping this because this is the only gray I have, like straight up gray, not like a brownie nudie gray. One billion thousand percent I'm keeping. This is Anastasia Sepia. You have no idea how hard it was to track this down. It was a exclusive to Macy's. Sold out everywhere. People were putting it on eBay for like $60. I ended up finding it on Poshmark. Uh, somebody who like bought, mul bought multiples of it and then sold it to me for like, I don't know, like $5 above retail. It wasn't that much at all. So absolutely keeping that. I don't think I've even worn it yet. I've just watched it. This is another like one of the Etsy type of um, purchases. This is from Beauty Bar Baby. It's the Matte Attack Liquid Lipstick and the shade is Fuzzy Sweater. This is also along, along the lines of like cashmere type dupes. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking you're, I'm thinking that you're seeing a theme here. Like a lot of these colors look very similar. This is exactly what I'm into lately. I'm just very much into just nudes and browns and grays and stuff like that. So this is another um, ColourPop Ultra Matte HD and Kapow. I already can tell it is exactly <laughs> like a lot of all of these. I just stashed so many of my regular lipsticks. I feel that I can um, kind of compensate a little bit and keep a lot more of my liquid lipsticks just because I'm just so into all of them. I wear them way more than my regular lipsticks. This is like, I think the only other, um, this is the only other Lime Crime product that I own. This is the Lime Crime liquid lipstick in Utopia. As we run out of room, this is like a bright purple. Yeah, I don't think I, yeah, as you can see from my swatches, there's nothing else like this here. So I'm gonna keep this guy. Getting to the end of like my actual liquid lipsticks. All right, this is the, another one of the L'Oreal ones and this is in Violet Parfait. All right, running out of room here. So where am I gonna swatch? I'm just gonna swatch this here. That is pretty, but hmm. I just don't know if I see myself wearing that shade. So I'm probably gonna just get rid of that one. This is another Rimmel London Show Off Lip Velvet in, I have no idea what color this is. It looks really nice, honestly. It looks like a really nice, like, concealer nude. Hmm, that's actually really nice. I think I might actually hang on to that one. Oh, can you guys see right here? It's a very nice, like, concealer nude. Okay, so I'm gonna hang on to this one. I kinda didn't expect 
that want to be so pretty. This one I know for sure I'm hanging on to. This is um, Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. This is one of the ones that, oh, after like the second release, sold out in like five seconds. I ended up having to go to eBay and pay above retail, but it's so worth it. It's like such a great nude, a brownie nude, and it's just, I love it. And this packaging is also like freaking gorgeous. I just, yeah, I definitely want to try more from this line because I really love this one. What's up? This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina or Patina or Patina. This is one of the ones that I definitely have to track down like on Sephora that kept selling out for some reason. Well, probably because it's freaking pretty. So yeah, this is definitely more of like a pinky shade. So this legit smells like birthday cake, like batter, cake batter. I did not know that, but yeah. So FYI, this liquid lipstick smells like cake batter. Uh, so definitely gonna keep that, not for the cake batter, for the color. And this is the Colored Rain liquid lipstick. I think this is another one of like the Etsy type purchases in Seoul. Pretty much every like lipstick that I've purchased on like Etsy looks almost <laughs> the exact same. This one, oh, this one's gorgeous, honestly. I feel like I have like a couple more hiding in my bag now that I think about it. Um, but I'm not gonna get them, so there, <laughs> there's that colored rain one here. All right, so I think we're on the end of the actual liquid lipstick. Now we're on to like the lip tars and the lip paints and stuff. So let me go ahead and just get this started. This is the Pop Beauty uh, Peony Petal. This might be also, it's kind of like a, yeah. A little bit doof, and that's a little sheer. That's kind of, look at that, ooh, that swatch game is strong. This is a little sheer, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I feel like I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these lip tars. Honestly, I don't wear them. I will rarely, rarely, rarely like bust a lip tar or like a melted lipstick. So I know for a fact this one I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, melted Coral, it's definitely not, <laughs> not my thing whatsoever. I am so running out of room. All right guys, Melted Coral not happening ever in this lifetime. This one's going. Okay, so that one I'm getting rid of. Uh, here's another one which pretty much looks like a dupe for it. This is the LA Girl Lip Paint in Tango. Here's Tango. I think these are supposed to be like the exact, the dupes for like the Melteds. It's a very similar. So yeah, these definitely are not sticking around. But yeah, a lot of these are very much dupes. Like, yeah, they look very similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick some out. This is another LA Girl Glazed. And then this is in, oh uh, God, Tempt. They're like written in cursive, so it's really hard to read. <laughs> This is in Tempt. Let's see. Ooh. Ugh. It has the potential to be pretty, but this, like, the consistency of it, I just can't do it. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I might actually end up selling, like, all these paints and, like, one, like, lot, because I feel like they're, they weren't that expensive to begin with, so. This is Daring, the same LA color lip paint. I'm gonna put this right here. Yeah, I definitely, I have one, like right there, as you can see, that color looks exactly like this, so. I'm going to pass this along into my get rid of pile. <laughs> Here's another LA Girl lip paint in Tease. Uh, yeah, my arm is teasing me, telling me it has room when it clearly doesn't. Ooh, that's a very hot baby pink, and I think I already picked one of those. That looks exactly like a liquid version of Candy Yum Yum. And if I have Candy Yum Yum, I don't need this, so. All right, that is all the LA Girl. Uh, let me go through the Melted. I've got what, one, two, three, four. No, I got one more um, LA Girl. This is in Whimsical. That's actually pretty, but I said I just don't reach for these. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't reach for these. So, I don't feel like there's really a need to keep them around if I'm not physically like reaching for them on a routine basis. So this is Melted Nude here. Oof, I think if anything, this would be the one that I would keep. Damn, this one, as you can see, I haven't even used it. It's completely, because you can tell these have been used because the second you start squeezing this, I mean, you can tell. So Melted Nude, let's see. That looks definitely way too orangey for me. So this guy is going into the pile. And this is Melted Peony, which I feel this is the shade that everybody has. <sighs> Why haven't I used this? So now I feel like I'm 
compromising the integrity of these by swatching them, but I'm not gonna know if I want them if I don't swatch them. It's actually really pretty. You can see, oh damn, can you even see these? These swatches, I don't think you can see them anymore. <laughs> anymore. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to swatch. Okay, so that's Melted Peony. It is pretty, oh damn, I might keep this one. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, this might be, oh, do I need it though? No, guys, I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't need it. I need, ugh. I need to do stash. That's the whole point. And this is the Melted Fuchsia. I need to do stash, guys. Melted Fuchsia. Ooh, that is some hot pink. It's, yeah, it's got a little bit of purple in it, too. So this one I'm also gonna get rid of. I'm pretty much gonna, honestly, I honestly could probably just throw all these in that pile, which I think I might in a second. <laughs> and those are the last melted. This is melted berry. It's very pretty, but, and these smell kinda good. So, uh, the rest of these are, I think the OCCs, let's see. I think there might be one, this one is, this is the, um, whoop. The J Cat Wonder Lip Paint in. Oh my god, there's like. The writing is like. You can't even. See. Oh, Red Potion. Whew, I was like, you know, you can't see that, right? Alright, I'm probably just gonna. Whoop. That looks very dark. And I feel like you have to. Like, on the, whoo. That looks almost exactly like one of the Anastasia lipsticks I think that I kept, or the color pops. Honestly, I'm probably not going to swatch these OCC lip tars because I can tell you right now, I probably do. I'm not going to want to use any of these because I just don't use them. I'm actually going to be getting rid of all of these here. So let's do the final count. How many I'm getting rid of? Two, four, six, eight, ten. That was my goal. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. My goal was 10 and I got rid of 36. Um, I think that's pretty damn good. I think I almost probably kept about the same amount. Let's see how many I kept. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 6, 28, 30, 32, 34. So I pretty much got rid of almost exactly as many as I started with. So I think that was pretty damn good. So thank you guys so much for watching. And by the time you watch this video, everything that I'm getting rid of, everything in this pile here, is going to be on my Poshmark, uh, my Poshmark closet. So go ahead and check that out. If you're interested in any of this makeup, I'm definitely going to be selling it for really great deals. Check out my Poshmark closet. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.